The scene was like something out of a Hollywood movie. A 14-month-old girl visiting her grandmother at the suburban Atlanta bank where she works gets locked in the vault. During close down this evening, customers had left the bank. Toddler walked off and walked into the vault just about the time the vault closed with its time lock. And that lock wasn't scheduled to reopen for hours. With only nine hours of fresh air left, rescue crews knew they had to act fast. They called in a certified master safe cracker, giving him a police escort. She was crying before I got to her. She was scared because of the drilling noise and all that. But, uh, you know, once I heard her cry and I knew everything was okay, it was just a matter of time. Ron Snively got to work while rescue crews figured out how to pump fresh air into the vault. And this is what I do all the time. So it's, uh, other than a child being in there, it was a routine job. You pick a drill point, you drill in, defeat the door, and, and, and unlock it. About four hours later, the door swung open, and the toddler was back in the arms of her mother. We want to make sure that the toddler is safe, okay? So, so that was the most important thing, and the toddler was safe the whole time. She had, I think she had cried for a while, but when they went in there, she was just laying there. This is one of those things that you're, uh, this, this is a happy end, and it's, it's nice to have one of these. The girl's name hasn't been released, and police say all she needed after her ordeal was a diaper change. Matt Friedman, the Associated Press.